What's up, risk managers? My name is NASDAQ Anonymous, and I'm addicted to the NQ. And boy, is she one hell of a drug. And welcome to tonight's NA meeting, where we'll discuss the economic data for the week, analyze today's session, and from that, build a winning game plan for tomorrow's price action. And if you haven't done so already, you can show your support by subscribing to the channel. And with that said, let's jump into the charts now. This is tomorrow's data, and be mindful that all times are in central time. And we have a small block of news scheduled for tomorrow, so let's jump into it. At 9 o'clock, we have wholesale inventories for the month of August. 11.30 and 12 o'clock, we had Fed Jefferson speaking, and we have the 10-year note auction. And finally, at 1 and 5 o'clock, we have FOMC minutes and Fed Dolly speaking. And now that we know what to expect, let's jump into the charts and create a game plan for tomorrow's price action. This is the block of price action that we traded during today's stream, and today was definitely a trend day. And as I analyze the charts, I see about two clues that's going to be essential for helping us find the best trades going into tomorrow's stream. So let's jump into it. During the overnight session, the Nasdaq opened slightly bearish and traded 130 points to the downside into a previous area of support. However, once the bears failed to rotate price lower, the bull stepped in and price rallied 427 points to the upside going into the close of the session. And based on this price action, here's what I'm going to be looking for. So today was just another adrenaline filled ride for those addicted to the thrills of the NQ. All the selling pressure that we saw from the bears going into the close of yesterday's session, you would think that we would get some follow through in the preceding session, but the bears once again failed and felt the clapping. But if the bears can maintain their control overnight and price continues to trade higher, then I'll be watching the reaction when price trades within a range between 325 and 350. Because 331 is the level where we saw a 513 point rejection to the downside, and it's highly likely that we will see bears step up in and around this level. And a failure from the bulls at this level could result in price retesting 405. Now, it's highly likely that we see price continue to trade to the upside until we test around 350. And that's where I believe, or at least I expect, for the bears to step in. But the price action overnight will definitely be essential for our bias going into tomorrow's stream. Now, if you're enjoying the content and appreciate the value that me and my trading partner provides to the trading community, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the release of our next NA meeting and live streams. And with that said, let's jump into an ES chart. This is an ES chart, and this is the block of price action that we traded during today's stream. And during the overnight session, the E-mini S&P opened slightly bearish and traded 28 points to the downside into a previous area of support. However, once the bears failed to rotate price lower, the, bear, the bulls stepped in and price rallied 81 points to the upside going into the close of the session. And based on this price action, this is what I'm going to be looking for. So just like the NQ, price initially did trade to the downside and we did see a violent move to the downside at the opening of the session, which we now know was a liquidity sweep. But because we saw the wick move to the upside, price did not look back and all the bears got squeezed out of their positions. But if the bulls can maintain their control overnight, then I'll be watching the reaction when price trades within a range between 813 and 808 and possibly 820 because 808 is a level that we saw the rejection from yesterday's session. And this is an area where I believe that bears will still be looking for a second try at a short. And you can see that we already initially did get that short, but I also believe that we still have some more room for upside. Now, we saw that on both markets, price run in one direction into an a previous area of supply or a previous area of heavy resistance. Now, when I see this, especially ahead of major news, that tells me to prepare for a big move down. Now, usually when this happens, the price action is really erratic. It uses every tactic to collect liquidity to get 
to its objective because price is on a mission and it will do anything to generate the liquidity to get to that level. You can look at your charts and you can see every time we have a big move up, we have a big counter correction going down. So be mindful with your longs, be mindful of previous areas of resistance. And I would definitely keep my eye on that 815 to 813 range for the bears to come in and really knock price down. But I'll be monitoring both markets overnight to identify the best trades as we go into tomorrow's stream. And in summary, both markets did start the session off slightly but bearish. Both markets had a massive rally that was fueled by the bearish buy stops. And finally, both markets are currently running back into a previous area of heavy supply a day ahead of major news. So be mindful of that. And that's all I have for tonight, risk managers. And you can watch us trade these concepts live by clicking this video. We'll see you there.